Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you fix error 1053. This error will appear as a pop-up called services. The message that will be displayed is Windows could not start with a service. And then it will say on local computer. And below that it will say error 1053. The service did not respond to the start or control request in a timely fashion. This message often appears whenever you're trying to start a service, but it doesn't respond within the time limit. And it can also sometimes occur whenever you're changing the service code. This error can also be triggered by many other factors as well, like corrupt system files, missing DLL files, outdated Windows builds, missing frameworks, insufficient permissions, and corrupt installations. There's a few fixes for this though, that which I'll be covering in this video. The first one is to change the timeout settings on your registrator. Just press Windows R, search R-E-G-E-D-I-T, and hit enter. Then the register editor will open. In the description below, I'll have all the file directories, along with all the text that you'll copy as well. In the top search bar I'll have in the description, you want to paste in computer backslash hkey underscore local underscore machine backslash system backslash current control set backslash control and that will bring you here. And then inside the control file, look for services pipe timeout. If it's not there, right click control, select no, and then select dword 32 bit value and rename this new value to services pipe timeout. Hit enter, double click on the key and change the value data to 180,000. Select OK. And once you select OK, just exit the registrator and restart your computer. And that should fix the error. If that doesn't work, select start and search CMD and run command prompt as administrator. Then you're gonna type in SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter. This will basically scan your computer for corrupted system files and repair them for you. If the SFC command doesn't repair your corrupt files, you can try these following commands, which I'll have listed in the description below. DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash check health. Hit enter. If that doesn't work, try this next command. DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash scan health. And if that doesn't work, you can also try this next command, dism space forward slash space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health and hit enter. Once you've used all three commands, just restart your computer and check if that's fixed your error. If you're still having the error, you can also check for updates. Click the start menu and search update and select check for updates. You can then click this button, check for updates, and it will scan for the latest updates on your computer. And if any updates are available, it will download and install them. The next solution is to reset your Windsog data. Say for instance if a network cache gets corrupted, you can encounter this error when trying to start a network service. And to fix that, you can just reset the Winslog data and flush the DNS cache. To do that, search CMD, run command prompt as administrator. And then you're going to want to type in the two following commands, which I'll have in the description below. NETSH space Winsock space reset, hit enter. And then once you do that, you're going to want to type in ipconfig space slash reno. And my last solution for you is to check your net framework version. And if you're using an outdated framework version, you're going to want to update to the latest version for your operating system. To check this, press Windows R, search R-E-G-E-D-I-T, select OK. And then you're going to want to come to this directory, which I'll have in the description, computer backslash hkey underscore local underscore machine backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash net framework setup backslash NDP backslash version 4 backslash client. Once you're here, click on the client folder and you should see a string inside called version and this will tell you the version that you're currently using. For me, I'm using 4.8.09037, which is is basically the latest version but if you have something older than that you're going to want to come to this website which i'll also have linked in the description below and you're going to want to download the latest version if you found the video helpful don't forget to like comment subscribe it really helped the channel a lot i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching